The ocean did literally save my life and um, I can't wait to go back to it. I have no fear of the ocean. Um, I, I thank God for the ocean that day. My car, I had pulled it off of the road because I was hoping that we could get emergency vehicles in at some point. And so mine was um, right here. You can see it's back windshield. And I ran directly across the street and got in on the rock wall, probably right in front of where this man is walking. Especially once the car started to explode, um, we fully submerged ourselves into the water to get our faces down as much as we could so that we were breathing the air that was only on the surface of the water because the air got very acrid and horrible to, to breathe. Um, it was very, very difficult. We got as low as we could, but at that point, Edna and I both started to lose consciousness. We began to hallucinate. Um, I would kind of pass out into the water, and as my face hit the water, I would come to again and realize where I was and what was going on and how I needed to keep myself safe. But it got so cold that at times we would have to actually climb the wall and go as close as we could to the fire comfortably to warm our bodies. Um, it's one of the reasons I'm covered in burns and scrapes. So I moved here about seven and a half years ago. And always in the high now? Day and a half, two days. It was about eight hours until I was free of the rock wall, until I got away from the fire on Front Street. And of those eight hours, I would say that I spent at least five of those hours completely submerged up to my neck in the water, trying to um, protect myself against the embers. The thought of losing our beautiful Lahaina town and the memories there and um, knowing that I'll never just take a stroll down Front Street again is almost incomprehensible. Um, but I'm just really blessed for life. I'm glad I'm here. And so that's the most important thing.